Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So according to a new report by the cybersecurity firm Fortra, they've uncovered a vulnerability listed as CVE 2024678, which causes a blue screen of death with an error on all versions of Windows 10, 11 and Server 2022, even if um, the system is fully updated. And obviously this sounds a bit similar to CrowdStrike. Um, which we experienced a month or so ago. Now, according to the report, if we head over to that quickly, according to this report, which is dated the 12th of August, which was yesterday in my part of the world, the security flaw is due to improper input validation. So here we can see that improper input validation. And it can be exploited by the bad guys by crafting specific values in a BLF file, which potentially then can let um, unprivileged users crash your system. And apparently it can potentially lead to denial of service and data loss. So that's why this is quite an important vulnerability. And the good news though, although this is um, still an open threat according to Fortra, once again, it's going to require somebody physically sitting down at your local device and your local machine to try and exploit um, your system. So your average home user, uh, in my personal opinion, I don't think has too much to worry about regarding this issue. Now, if we have a look at the kind of timeline of events, yeah, we can see that Fortra first reported this issue on the 20th of December 2023, reported to Microsoft with a proof of concept exploit. And then on January the 8th, a couple of days later, Microsoft responded that the engineers could not reproduce the vulnerability. And then due to this, a little while later, here we can see on the, uh, the 21st of February, Microsoft replied that they still could not rep reproduce the issue and they were closing the case. Okay, so according to Microsoft, this was a closed case. And then here we can see a bit of progress um, on the timeline. And then here, as mentioned, on August the 12th, um, Fortra published the CVE publication that um, they had re reproduced the issue on the latest updates. So Basically, at the end of the day, what this means now is that Microsoft will have to patch this issue. And the good news is, is that later today, actually, I mean, in my region, later today, on the 13th, we can see it's the second Tuesday of the month. So we are expecting our Patch Tuesday compulsory mandatory security updates to roll out for Windows 10 and 11. And I think if Microsoft doesn't patch it um, later today then there's a good chance we will definitely get an update and a security patch for that issue um, on the 10th of September, which will be the Patch Tuesday for uh, next month, September 2024. But I'm going to keep my ears to the ground on this one. And as mentioned, I think if you're an average home user, you've got nothing to worry about with this. And if I get more info, I'll keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.